protect yourself from brain-eating amoebas. If that sounds like a zombie apocalypse, I get it, but Naglaria flowery is no joke. I'll call it the bacteria for short. 146 cases have been reported in the U.S. since 1962, with only four surviving the infection. That's a 97% chance of death. The bacteria dwells in warm bodies of fresh water, where it dines on other bacteria in the sediment. As such, most infections with this amoeba in the U.S. have occurred in southern states, especially Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. When the sediment of a lake gets disrupted, the amoeba gets stirred into the water, where swimmers can then inhale the parasite through their nose. From there, it invades the olfactory nerves and then migrates to the brain. While swimming in fresh water is the most likely source of this amoeba, the same organism, as well as other species of amoeba, can cause brain infections in people who use tap water instead of sterile water or saline when using their neti pot. So while it is not likely, it is possible that you can get it from tap water. So you can drink the water, but just make sure you don't get any up your nose because it will eat your brain. I'm sorry, maybe it's just me, but I'm not drinking that water. Thank you very much. My nose is pretty close to my mouth, so I most certainly wouldn't want to bathe in it. This is scary stuff, but the fact of the matter is you are in charge of your water and can protect your family from such things as brain-eating amoebas, as well as other microorganisms like bacteria, yeast, viruses, and cysts. Technology is available that can trap and kill those organisms so that you can have the peace of mind knowing that your water is bacteria-free. You may ask, isn't the city responsible for the safety of my water? Unfortunately, no, you are. The sooner people take control of their own water, the better off we'll all be. We have known for quite some time that water infrastructures in many cities are aging and even crumbling. It's been said by many experts that Flint, Michigan is just the tip of the iceberg. Water is one of our most precious resources and it's time we all take charge of our water. Technology of the 21st century variety is the solution. Many homeowners spare no expense in having the finest entertainment system for their families. Flat screen TVs, $250 cable bills, Xboxes, premium sound systems, subwoofers, and all sorts of other things. But when I tell them that they can protect their families from brain-eating amoebas, E. coli, coliform, viruses, cysts, and many other microorganisms for less than $800, they look at me like I'm crazy. So what are the solutions to bacterial contamination and stopping brain-eating amoebas? ultraviolet systems. They have been a long industry standard for killing bacteria in your water source. U.S. Water Systems offers that with our Pulsar Ultraviolet Max systems, which are designed to be the ultimate failsafe against any and all bacteria, including brain-eating amoebas. They combine our best water filters with our ultraviolet technology. These systems are the ultimate for killing bacteria. U.S. Water Systems interceptor and disruptor filters reduce bacteria, viruses, cysts by using electroabsorptive technology to eliminate them. Many contaminants are actually magnetically removed from the water and then secured in the charged filter. The interceptor and disruptor filter media takes out a variety of wide spectrum contaminants, including bacteria, viruses, cysts, and chromium-6. However, iron, sulfur, and manganese must be removed ahead of it. Because of this, it's recommended to have a one micron pre-filter ahead of the interceptor or disruptor. These filters do not require any power, any chemicals, and need very little maintenance. You can find our Pulsar Ultraviolet Max systems and our interceptor and disruptor filters at uswatersystems.com. Contact one of our certified water specialists to see which is right for you.